Contraband delivery, no longer at your service. Enjoy this last bounty from a call hall. I'm sick of sneaking around for a turncoat village pleasure. No, 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 what happened to our arrangement? Took me weeks to build up my village, and Ava raised it to the ground in one afternoon. With ease. Ava, seriously? He's our only source of all the things. Relax. I'm sure we can find someone from a call hall to bring us stuff who doesn't suck at video games. Lucky I haven't sold you out. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Very funny, Brian. <gasps> but you won't, right? Lucky for you, life isn't a video game. But oh wait, you suck at life too. Historically, secret societies only stay together if everyone cooperates. Seriously, Brian, you're not gonna rat us out? <laughs> Don't you have a cat to bell? Oh, hi. Test one, two, is this thing on? Miss Tina reports to my office immediately. <gasps> this is Mrs. Hine. <gasps> Not to alarm you, but Hein is gonna interrogate you by the dam. Gee, all I did was put the needle down. So I did that, she figures know who did it. I thought you told you so. Listen, if you won't save the secret society for me, do it for Francis and Rebel. They will be cat meat if they have to live full time among the gen pop. <laughs> Get out of our bathroom or I'll feed you to my cat! No, really, cat food. Like, in the tin, turkey, gravy, it smells horribly, you kinda want to taste it. How amazing how the stick together logic didn't occur to you when you raised Brian's village. Technically, he's never been sworn in as a full member. Is that because you gave him an impossible task Good too? Good luck. Don't bork it up. I'm disappointed to see you here, Tina. The boys couldn't have done what they did without inside help, and thus, we find ourselves on a mole hunt. It is my duty, my duty, to ensure that you girls leave this school as charming young ladies. Now you, you could do incredibly well here. You could find yourself with special privileges. We can science fair trips away, long distance phone calls to your father anywhere in the world. Anywhere, anytime. <laughs> with your brains and my coaching, Imagine the heights to which you could ascend. How long has she been in there? I don't know what we're gonna do. She needs to plead the fifth. Ava, do you think she'll break? Historically speaking, many people break under torture. Although the confession given there under is usually unreliable. Even still, that doesn't deter the torturers from taking the confession as fact. What? Dude. It's true. That is so dark. Start singing, little hummingbird. I thought hummingbirds didn't sing. They do when I tell them to. I control your grades. I control your future. I control how long you stay here, unless you think your gallivanting father's ever coming back for you. <laughs> Mrs. Hine, the fact is, I did put the needle back on the record player. My motive? To get the lesson back on track after that horrible interruption. I'm new here. I can't afford to make enemies. I haven't even made any friends yet. Maybe I should move to Peru. I'm gonna bell the fudging cat. What did she say? Does she know it was us? Tell us everything. She threatened to call my dad. What? Is he gonna get you? Are you getting out of here? No. You had the chance to leave and you didn't take it? I have a duty to my father. Duty. <laughs> to not cause trouble and excel at the school and hold up my end of our partnership. So, I told a lie. About time. But, but how did you? What good are phone privileges if I can't speak honestly with my dad? You can lie to him too, you know. I can't just lie to him, Ava. I promised my mom. Look, I get it. Being friends with your parents, it's dorky. But my dad means a lot to me and my mom did too. Now, if I have to hide things from him, what's the point? My mom used to say, every obstacle will teach you something about yourself, but I don't know what I'm supposed to learn here. Lady Bees is teaching us who we are by showing us who we're not. It's teaching us that even though the adults may be in charge, they're not necessarily our allies. Sorry, Tina, but we're here for you. And some of us may be loud and obnoxious, but that's just the way we found to keep our sanity. Come here. Mm -hmm.
Even the first female astronaut to go to space had to lie to her mom about where she was going. Valentina Tereshkova. Yes, you're weird, Tina. But we're all weird, and we accept your weirdness, even though it is really weird. Does that make sense? Not at all. But it's okay. Okay, so now can I ask how she found the clubhouse? How do you think I've been testing the GPS tracker? Oh! <laughs> I completed the task. <gasps> what? <laughs> yeah. no. I slimmed it down, put on a crystal, then I did some social engineering. Mrs. Hine, I wanted to thank you for taking me under your wing. You have made such a big impression on me in just a few short weeks, and I wanted you to have a small token of my esteem. Well, thank you, dear. This is it's very fetching. It's an amethyst. One of your library books said it will protect you from electromagnetic fields and electricity in the building. But it only works if you wear it all the time. Otherwise, stray radiation waves could cling to you. But Miss Tina, I am watching you. And you will need to impress me, not just flatter me, if you want to succeed. Of course, Mrs. Hyde. <laughs> she actually believed the garbage science about the amethyst? This changes everything. Now she'll never be able to sneak up on us again. We'll know exactly where she is from whatever glitter bomb we're about to set off. <gasps> but then I realized, so not ethical. Wait, what? Come on, gathering that much data on a person? <laughs> Gross invasion of privacy. But she's a monster! I know, but we're not monsters. <laughs> or Facebook. So I encrypted the software and split the key so all of us have to agree to use it. But I can't think of any circumstances under which I could morally agree to help unlock it. If you have to kick me out of the club, I guess I'll understand. In a lawless environment, we do have to decide. Do we wear black hats? Or white hats. She's right. If we invade Hines' privacy, then we're no better than when she read Rebel's diary at that school assembly. Or when she made us all publicly judge each other at the beauty contest last okay, year. Okay, thanks, Francis. But you're kind of making me regret my decision. Sorry. So I did it. Can I please borrow a computer to call my dad? Fine. Let's go with gray hats. All right, keep it flexible. Besides, gray goes with everything. Are those are figurative hats, Rebel. Oh, one more thing. We are swearing in Brian. Officially. Ah, Dad! Hello, Valentina. How's my special little astronaut? <laughs> <laughs> so, didn't hear that. <laughs>